San Francisco on a wonderful afternoon. The city hosting tonight's broadcast. Everyone is watching as this thrilling NBA final series comes to a game five. It's locked up at 2-2. It's anyone's game. And either of these teams could walk out tonight one step closer to the world championship. With Hall of Famers, Grant Hill and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson, plus our reporter, Ali LaForce. Hey, I started. He said, quote, I don't have a ceiling. I'm just going to keep my head down and keep working and see where it leads me. Year after year, he continues to improve, Ali. And let's take a look at Boston's starting lineup. At the two and the three, Brown and Tatum. Al Horford out there with Robert Williams. And it's Smart in at the point. And for Golden State, play at the two with Wiggins at the three. Green out there with Otto Porter. And it's Curry in at point guard. You take a look at the Celtics, facing, in essence, a best of three series. Only two chances to steal one on the road. So true, and this is their best chance here. And when it comes down to a game seven, that would be a very hard environment to win in. Back to Smart. With nobody on him, he buries that jumper. Growing confidence in his jumper. Smart is rising and firing after the catch of the pass. Nice. Pass to Wiggins. Thompson outside. Shoots. Gets a very good look and converts. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. Smart against Curry. Smart passes to Brown. Hits the target from 18 feet. Oh, don't you love to appreciate the confidence of Marcus Smart. At point-blank range, he is an efficient scorer. Thompson passes to Curry. Here's Wiggins. And here is Green, defended by Brown. Thompson outside. Just five on the clock. The three... And that one's good. That makes him two for three. Clay Thompson's so adept at using the pick and roll to his advantage. Takes what the defense gives him. Here's Smart. Inside. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. <laughs> and this... No doubt. And here's Thompson for three. Back to Green. Outside Curry. From the arc. Nice start for him, sinking his first shot. Well, I'm not sure there's a player in the league with a better feel for that shot than Steph Curry. If he gets it off clean, you know it's going in. Now here's Smart. Pass to Brown. And here's Smart. And here's Horford. Takes the three. And it's Stephen Curry with the rebound. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. And, yep, it's good. Curry's got Williams. Thompson outside. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Thompson's got eight. Oh, he's just waiting threes for them early. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Here's Tatum, and play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. But there are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. To the inside, Porter uses the glass to finish the layup. And... Both free throws good for Brown. The Warriors have got 8 of 13 attempts to go. Poole against Heiss. Porter the pass to Thompson. Cash. Assisting on the play with Porter. Thompson's got 11. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. It's Williams. High post. Pass to Pritchard. On the break. Porter gets the bucket. And it's a seven-point warrior lead. Poole against Brown. Poole, the pass to Porter. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Wiggins, no good. 
Outside, Brown. Let's it go from 14. That shot is off. And so it's Clay Thompson making highlights for the Golden State Warriors. An insane quarter. No one could stop him. Back to the game after this break. And let's get you back onto the court for more of this pivotal Game 5. And from what we've seen here from the Warriors, what's your take so far? Well, it seems like... And they'll turn it over. Couldn't get the shot off. A shot clock violation. Smart against Curry. Back to Smart. Beyond the arc. They get the rebound. Great effort to track down the long rebound. Oh. And out of bounds, Don't Boston will have it. Yeah, simply stated, you have to take care of the basketball, and they don't on that possession. Going inside, his fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Poole up top. Williams defending. Outside for Green. Down low. Here's Wiggins. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. And the Warriors lead by five. I think unselfish is a word that applies beautifully to Draymond Green. He's so good at sharing the basketball. And it's Tatum missing. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. And to get a clean look is with those quick hitters on the break. What a beautiful fast break opportunity and the finish pretty good. Tatum, good. Tatum. Curry with it. He's got seven. For the left side wing. Dayton finds Wiggins. And it's flushed down a nice jam. Well, the leaping ability and wingspan of Andrew Wiggins is helping him dominate above the rim. Right. Pass to Curry. Back to Green. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Warriors ahead, up by five. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Guys, thanks. Andrew, this team has set the tone at the defensive end. What's working for you? Uh, we just got after it. You know, it's the main thing. You know, we just try to make them uncomfortable. We tested everything. And, you know, we were converting on the other side. It's all about the effort. Back to you. Thanks very much, Allie. And, folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. Well, for the Warriors... They're in the battle that's indicative of just how tight this series has been so far. Scraping and clawing their way through the first half, this Game 5 could go a long way toward determining this year's champion, so expect them to come out breathing fire in the second half. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, they were lighting it up from three, and that was the difference in the first half. They did a good job of running off screen, spotting up, and getting rid of the ball quickly. And their shot selection, solid. And Chad, your thoughts on the Celtics? Well, those second chance points are huge, and they only came because of their effort. Curry against Smart. The three ball. And that's good. Stephen Curry for three. 
Curry's got six points in the quarter. You can see why they go to this guy so often. More often than not, he's going to be very efficient like he is right here. Here's Williams. Can't hit that one. Excellent D there from Wiggins. Outside Curry. Outside Green. Thompson outside. Fires from deep. And the Warriors with another three. The deep. Back to Tatum. Over Wiggins. Boston again missing. Now the Warriors with it. They're on a 10 to 1 run. And here's Curry for three. And Looney with the slam. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. And Boston calls time here. One of the stories here, Clay Thompson. Man, is he getting it done today. Now here's Looney. Give him eight points now. And the Warriors miss again. There's Tatum with the three. That won't go either for Tatum. This has been a tough quarter for him and a challenging game for this team. Green against Heiss. Here's Looney. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got his fourth assist in this one. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Here's Tatum. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. Tatum's got four. It took six attempts, but he finally hits a shot. Green against Heiss. Green, the pass to Wiggins. Poole outside. Pass to Green. Back to Poole. From deep. Knocks down the triple. Poole's got seven now in this quarter. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. Get up. 116 left in the third quarter. Pass to Tice. And finished off by Tice. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. And here's Poole. 12 points for him. Shoots over White. Pulled the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way, though. He's got 14. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Well, as usual. Balance attack is just so much harder to defend. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Outside Tatum. Pass to Tice. Deflected! And so it's the Golden State Warriors in a good situation, up by 13 points to close the quarter. Up big because of their three-point shooting. Just going to town from downtown tonight. We'll be back in a moment. Steve Kerr with some words for his players. Great start, fellas. Clay, your cutting is awesome. The movement without the ball is brilliant. Great stuff. Complimenting the motion. Steve Kerr likes how his offense is running right now. Pulls it in. Horford's got four rebounds now. Here's Tatum. And he banks in the layup. Well, do not let Jason Tatum get space in transition. He will make you pay. The Warriors leading. Outside, Green. Out to Thompson. Fires the three. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got seven assists in the game. For Boston, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Knocked loose. 
It's stolen by Green. Thompson with it. Now Horford defending. Horford with the block. Well, this is how Al Horford gets it done as a rim protector. His anticipation. In the second. Poole against Brown. Poole, the pass to Payton. 4-3. Rebound Boston. Tatum's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Plenty of room to knock down that one. Tatum's got 14 points now in the second half. Well, this quarter has been all about this guy. He is trying to close the gap in the score. And the Warriors call. It's you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Now here's Porter. Pass to Payton. Horford with a steal. And they're pushing it up. Here's Tatum. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. to be great. This is a young player who doesn't lack for confidence. I love watching him play. Now here's Thompson. Pass to Wiggins. A minute and a half left in the fourth. Now here's Peyton. Out to Thompson. Three on the clock. Peyton with it. Let's it go from deep. Austin with a rebound. Tatum's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. A step back shot. The putback. You have to love their intensity right now. Getting hot. Time. It took a shift in strategy, but it seems like they figured it out. Let's see if they can extend this run all the way to the finish. Peyton. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. They recover it. And here's Thompson for three. Knocks it down from distance. Well, there's certain guys where the area of expertise is from long distance. Clay Thompson doing work. Time called here. The Celtics decide to close the series out. And this was a critical performance. At 2 2, a team season can ride on a game five like this one. They did a terrific job of rising to the moment and taking control of the series. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Draymond, you were stacking the assists. How much do you take it on yourself to be a playmaker for this team? Uh, I play with a lot of great players. I just try to find them in the spots that they like the ball. Uh, you know, guys really shoot the ball well. Uh, I've been a playmaker on this team for some years now. That's my job, so I try to get them the ball in spots on the floor that they like. You always bring it on both ends. Thanks, Draymond. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thank you. And that concludes our coverage of Game 5 of the NBA Finals. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.